Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use a set action to compare values to a selected mark. In this particular example, I'm going to build a map that shows you each of the individual states. And when I click on a state, I want all other states to compare to the value of the state that I selected. First, I'm going to build the map. And let's just look at sales on the map. Okay, very something very, very simple. And what I want to be able to do is if I click on California, you see the value is 457,000. I want to compare, let's say, Kansas to that value. So Kansas minus the value of California, and I want the color to adjust accordingly. So the first thing I need to do is I need to create a set based on the state. And I'm going to call this my state set. And I'm going to start by just using California. You don't have to do that, but I like to. And then once I have, I need to get the value of sales from that state that I selected. So I'm going to call this selected state sales. And this is going to be pretty simple. I'm going to say if it's my state set, then I want to return sales. And, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that onto the detail shelf. Actually, I'll put it on the label shelf and let's see what happens. So you see California says 457,000 because that's the one that, I, that is chosen in my set. But when I move to the other states, they're all null. So what I need to do is I need to make that a level of detail expression. I need to return the sales for California, in this case, for every other state. So I'm going to just going to make it a level of detail expression. I'm going to use a mustachio and then just the sum of the sales for the selected state and then close it. And this is just saying, irrespective of where I am in the visualization, just return the sales for the selected state. OK, now you can see I have that value everywhere. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. And now that I have that value, actually, let me go ahead and put that back in. I'm just going to move it to the detail shelf. Now that I have that value, I'm going to say difference from selected state. And this is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm just going to do the sum of the sales minus the sum of the selected state sales. I'm going to move my sales to the detail shelf and put my difference on to color. And now you can see California is zero, hence it's uh, the, the yellowish color. And then uh, you see every other state is the variance to California. OK, perfect. So now what I need to do is I need to set up my set action. But before that, I'm just going to go ahead and remove my map layers because I like a nice clean map. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove my borders. And I like the little borders that show up around states. So let's build a new dashboard. And I'm going to make it maybe, it doesn't matter, 800 by 600. I'm going to remove my color legend. All right, so now I'm going to set up a set action. So I'm going to go up to Dashboard, Actions. And I'm going to add a change set values action. So I'm going to say update state set. I want to run it only on single select because I don't want them to pick multiple states. The set I want to update is my state set. When I run the action, I wanted to assign the values to the set. And then after that, I want to go ahead and uh, remove all values from the set once we do that. So that means it'll clear the selected set. So now if I click on Kansas, you'll see everything is compared to Kansas, and then it goes back to zero. OK, so how do we go ahead and, and fix that then? So um, actually, what I want to do is in my dashboard action, I wanted to retain the, so I'm going to keep the set value actually, because what I wanted to do is I wanted to retain the color on the map. But what I don't like is this highlighting. I don't like having to click twice. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to create a new calculated field called dummy. And I'm going to call it D1. And I'm going to create a second one called dummy2. And I'm going to call that one D2. Now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and put dummy into the detail shelf. And when I do my dashboard actions, I'm going to go ahead and go back, add an action. I'm going to add a filter action. And I'm going to say, up. Uh, I'm just going to call it my dummy filter action. And again, I want it to be on select, on single select. I want it to apply to my sheet one. 
and clearing the selection will uh, show all values. That doesn't really matter. In my selected fields, I wanted to go from dummy to dummy two. Now these values are never going to be the same, so it's never going to filter anything, but it will try to, and then the values will be deselected. So a nice little tip there for you. So I click on California, see everything becomes uh, red because they're all less than California. I click on New York and it becomes the value for New York, the difference from New York. So the last thing I wanna do is instead of this saying to select a state, I want to actually return the value of the state. So I'm going to call this state selected. And I'm just going to say if my set, where's my state, then state. And all right, so let's put that on the detail shelf. And you can see everywhere I look, my state selected is null, except for the one that I picked on, which I believe was, uh, it was one of these over here somewhere. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this to say, how do sales compare to, and I'm going to insert my new field that I just created, state selected, and hit OK. And it now says all, so I screwed something up here. OK, so uh, I need to go back and fix that. Um, so I want to, uh, if state selected, then state, let's see, which one did I pick on last? Let me just click on California because that's the easiest one. And you can see state selected is California. Okay, great. So I believe what I need to do here then is I need to uh, go ahead and make this a level of detail expression as well. So I'm just going to return the min of that. And I should now see California everywhere. And you can see up in my uh, title, it says California, but the rest of the title is uppercase. So I'm going to change that. And I'm going to wrap this in an upper function. And now it says, how does sales compare to California? If I click on Nebraska, it's going to say, how does sales compare to Nebraska? Click on Texas, etc. So hopefully you found that tip useful. It's a really powerful use of set actions. And later on, maybe in a, a week or two, I'm going to show you how you can actually add values to a set using a set control. So I could then say, OK, what if I want to compare the whole southeast? How is every other state doing compared to the set in the southeast? Something like that. But that'll be coming in a few weeks. I uh, hope you found this useful. Have a good day.